Welcome to another episode on WB Racing. This is your boy Brad. If you're new here, I appreciate your interest. I see I've got quite a few new subscribers, so thank you for your interest. Today, uh, as you can tell, it's quite a mess here in my garage today. We're going to go on and we're, I'm going to show you uh, how I've been able to pull over 300 pounds out of my car for reasonably uh, really affordable money. Let's get right into the video. Uh, I'm excited to show you this. Uh, in the future, I plan to go and get maybe another 150 pounds out of the car. That's less weight for the transmission and the engine to pull. And that's what everybody wants. We want to go faster, right? Hell yeah. So let's get right into the video. In front of you on the screen, I have put up two charts uh, for reference. These charts are based on rear-wheel drive automatic cars that have traction. So it is just for an example to show you how big of a difference weight reduction can have in, in your ability to get a better time at the track or to just have more fun on the street. So if you reduced your car from 3,500 pounds to 3,000 pounds, that would be the same as adding 16.7% more horsepower to your car. Uh, that's quite a big difference. You know, that would be just like if you had a 500 horsepower car that would be just like adding 85 wheel horsepower to it. So pulling 500 pounds from it would make it act like it had 585 horsepower. Let's go ahead and get right back to the main course of the video. Let's go ahead and quickly get this out of the way. Obviously you guys know that this is the rear seats for the car. Uh, these weigh 24 pounds. Uh, that's by no means nothing. Uh, along with the front passenger side seat, the passenger seat weighs 30 pounds. So together, 40, you know, 54 pounds, that's, that's pretty significant. So if you take the, those two items out before you go to the track, that will make a difference in your time. So just real quick, I wanted to go over that, get it out of the way. Uh, let's continue on. I have pulled out one of my stock shocks. This is for the rear. Uh, I do not have the weight for all of them total, but I do remember weighing the difference. Uh, I went to a coilover shock, which is this company right here, Yonica's, I believe. Uh, they were less than $500. I highly recommend them. And the weight difference just in the shocks alone, the front and the back from the stock, uh, it was 28 pounds. I did unfortunately pull the AC system out of my car. Uh, mentally, it was really tough. Physically, it wasn't that difficult, but it did work. Um, I waited till the last moment, but you know, when you're trying to make big power, you gotta make rooms for things. And, and you know, like I've said, I might've been able to keep it, but I've moved on since then. Uh, the air compressor alone weighs 14 pounds without the bolts. It's 15 with the bolts. And then the heat exchanger and the lines and the brackets that go with that is eight pounds. So just there together, that's 20, 22 to 23 pounds worth of weight savings there. And I still haven't taken the, uh, the condenser out from behind the, the dashboard or the firewall. Um, that will be coming out when I get access to it next. So this is my EVAP canister along with the solenoids and the brackets that go to this. This here alone weighs five pounds. It's not a ton. All adds up though. Uh, it opens up a lot of space for you in your engine bay. Definitely something that you could look into doing. It's really simple. All you have to do is rewire where or re rerun where the vent hose goes for your uh, fuel tank. 
Then here's something that most of you might not think about. Some of you have. It is your rear seat, seat belts, along with the brackets and the bolts that go to these. Uh, there is some pretty good weight savings to be had here. Uh, let's see, I believe, seat belt, seat belt. Okay, so yeah, there is some weight savings to be had here. This is six and a half pounds. So obviously the rear seats in the car are really small uh, unless you're a kid. So six and a half pounds weight savings there. Now I only have part of the next item uh, because I threw the rest of it away, but this is part of the sound deadening that goes in the vehicle from the factory. This would be right underneath your feet uh when you're driving on the passenger or the driver's side is part of the sound deadening there also is factory sound deadening in the trunk underneath the rear seats passenger side and driver's side i did get the dry ice and the rubbing alcohol and made the concoction to get it out uh, all together including this that was a 40 pound weight saving so it was definitely worth it if you have the downtime to do it uh, just make sure you have a nice enough dry ice and that you buy the dry ice right when you're ready to do this. <laughs> so don't buy it a day or two days before. The night before would be fine, but uh, the better, just make sure whatever container you have it in, shove that container full of newspaper, ball it up and throw it all in there. Uh, the less air that's in that container, the better. So just a little tip for you there uh it took took 15 pounds of dry ice to do mine all right here i have the rear seat brackets these go along like where underneath your knees would be uh, if you're riding in the back seat uh, you can see this is right where the back seat clips in uh, these brackets are probably from the factory made for like side impact safety. Um, these are extremely thick. They're over an eighth of an inch. And these two items together weigh 15 pounds. 15 pounds for just these two things. Uh, and that's not including the bolts. So uh, definitely a good weight savings here to be had. Here's my little EGR. <laughs> just this little guy. Believe it or not, this little guy weighs one pound. Cast iron frame, you know, every pound counts. All right, keep in mind guys, I do have a type SH, so this might be a little differently from yours, but this is my original full-size radiator. Uh, you know, it is a single core. It does have both fans on it. It being a type SH, it does have the little uh, compartment in the bottom for the ATTS unit that runs uh, the automatic transmission fluid through it. Uh, so these, this, <clears throat> this radiator together with the fans is 14 pounds dry. So I do have, so I do have <laughs> a single size uh, automatic Civic radiator and I have a slim fan and the shroud that I have weighed. Uh, this single core weighs eight pounds with the shroud and the fan. So that could be a savings of six pounds. Uh, in my case with my dual core uh, radiator that I have and the fan that I have on it, it's probably pretty close. It's probably closer to 10 pounds than, than eight with this setup, but still, that's a weight savings, uh, four, anywhere from four to six pounds. I hear something that not all of you are going to get into, but for those of you that do, I'd like to have it listed for you. This is your balance shafts and the front gears that run on it. Uh, so with the balance shaft delete kit that I did, uh, this is the most of the, this is most of the components that I took out with it. Uh, all together with the balance shafts and the front gear set, this weighs 10 and a half pounds. So really 
it's not about the weight savings that's just a byproduct to doing that but for those of you that would like to know it is part of the weights that weight that i have included here all right this is my uh rear bumper core support uh originally this guy weighed 18 to 19 pounds uh i have taken a lot of time to whole saw out and try to lighten this guy up as much as possible uh, i have been able to take uh, about eight and a half to nine pounds out of this this is free weight safety free weight savings i had the tools to do it uh, i didn't really have the time but i made it work uh, so for those of you that are looking for every last pound without spending a ton of money this is a great way to do it uh, i'm still able to retain all of the function that it did so i left all the holes that everything would clip into and the brackets on the bottom it still performs every function that it's supposed to this is a part that i have yet to put on the car but since i have it sitting out i am definitely going to uh go over it real quick um, this is a 1320 alternator relocation bracket uh, and obviously your stock one uh, is cast iron or cast steel and it weighs a ton uh, i believe this guy weighs nine pounds and this guy weighs five pounds and that's nine pounds without the bolts in it so there is weight savings to be had there obviously if you're going with this it's probably because you need to make room but just thought i'd include that there for you all right this is my car's heat shield for the exhaust system uh looking at it, it doesn't look like it would weigh much it is pretty thin gauge uh, but it does have a ton of drag underneath the car, so it was definitely worth it for me to take it off. Uh, along with the bolts, this weighs 9 pounds. So, with our theme, every pound counts. Another super simple thing you could grab out before you leave to head to the track is the jack and the tool. Uh, they're in the driver's side of the trunk get in there and take these out you'd be taking out four and a half pounds then we have the donut this is the 16 inch uh, donut it is not a full-size one uh, this guy right here is 19 pounds it's one of the very first things I took out of the car uh, so that is definitely decent with both the, the donut and the jack and I pulled out the two uh, speakers that came in the car. Those are 10 pounds. All right, for those of you that this applies to you, I think it's definitely worth mentioning because there is a substantial amount of weight savings to be had here. This is my ATTS unit that came in my Type SH. Uh, for those of you that have watched my other videos, you know that I have swapped to the base model transmission and then I have added a uh, LSD from WaveTrack. Um, <clears throat> this unit here weighs 40 pounds. With the bracketry, it weighs 43 pounds. So that is, it was just a byproduct of wanting to be able to hold more than 350 horsepower and have the transmission survive. But it sucked because this unit was still good. It still operated in my car. So. This was another thing that was hard for me to take out. But for those of you that apl this applies to you, uh, it is definitely something worth looking at. 43 pounds to get rid of it. Plus, you can switch to a different radiator and save the weight there. That's what I ended up doing on mine. All right, those of you know what this is. This is your, past, this is your rear uh, door panels. And to me, the weight savings is not adequate uh, for keeping it out of the car. Uh, I want my car to look street car. Uh, the two together weigh seven pounds. I know seven pounds is seven pounds, but for me, the look I want, you know, sleeper, uh, I will be putting these back in. Uh, I'll take seven pounds out of something else uh, to keep these in. You know, I can take the rear seats in and out really easily. 
and as long as I keep these panels in, then the car looks street, you know? So I'm good with that. Uh, for me, the seven pounds isn't worth it. Now, as you can see over here to the side, I have my exhaust system that I, I did have on my car. Now, let me explain. Uh, I did end up pulling it off the car. Uh, this is an Apex N1 exhaust. I absolutely love it. Uh, I do have a custom high flow in a custom high flow catalytic converter that I had made. Um, it did work really well for its purpose uh, before I turboed the car. Once I turboed the car, it was no longer connected. Uh, could I have made it work? Maybe. Um, it would have been really difficult with the, the room that I had and I would have had to have run, I would have had to have run a remote, uh, dump to be able to open up or else it, I just wouldn't be able to make the kind of horsepower that the car makes. Turbo cars want to breathe. I basically need to recreate and remake a completely straight through open exhaust system to the back of the car and that will be in the future uh, but just having this underneath the car all it is is weight and drag uh, i did have it on there for decoy uh, in the surrounding counties there is no e-check in the surrounding counties so i am very lucky here i don't like announcing that but i hope that uh explains enough for you to understand why i did it this does weigh 42 pounds i do want to put another one back on like i said a custom one i had have made by myself this is a great uh road map for how to do that for me i basically have all the angles <laughs> to already do it uh and all the mount points but that being said 42 pounds is 42 pounds. So I have to go ahead and talk about the weight that I've added back to the car. Uh, and it definitely adds up. But the turbocharger alone is 35 pounds. Uh, the wastegate's five pounds. The blow off valve is two pounds. Uh, the intercooler itself is 20 pounds. And then you have uh, the, the stainless steel manifold uh, the exhaust, the, the dump tube, uh, those are all parts that I've added to the car. But when I basically do the math and, and figure out what I've taken off and what I've added, it, a lot of it washes out and I've basically added back 40 pounds to the car. So whatever number I come up with uh, for the weight that I've saved, I have to add 40 pounds back to that. I just wanted to be transparent there. Uh, one thing I'm very excited about is that I have found a place to weigh the car. Uh, before I have not been able to do it, um, I have found a place somewhat locally that is clean enough and is uh, more accurate enough that I'm willing to do it. So I'm excited for that in the spring. See the baseline that we have. Um, hopefully I have the doors by then, but if I don't, you know, we're going to weigh it, whatever it weighs. I'm excited to see where we get it at. You know, these type SHs weigh 3,200 pounds from the factory, which is a pig <laughs> in Honda terms. So every hundred pounds I strip off this car, it's exciting. So I'm, I'm not going to estimate where I think it's at, but I'm excited to do it. And, uh, it's not too far away from me, so hell yeah to that, man. <laughs>